Hello, my name is Rick Tetrault. I'm a truckload driver. I'm out of Clarksville, Tennessee. I've been with Averett for going on 17 years. I'm John Tetrault, his son. I've been with Averett almost seven years now. I'm a truckload driver trainer out of Clarksville, Tennessee as well. So, um, you know, when I started in this industry, the first thing he wanted to do was, you know, he wanted to get me over to Averett Express as soon as possible because he knew what kind of great company this was. And uh, I had to put my, my time in with my first company, as a lot of drivers do, and uh, came over to Averett as soon as I could after about six months of driving and been here ever since and love every moment of it. Uh, <laughs> While we've been here, uh, we were invited to... Uh, be on the Tennessee Trucking Foundation. We're both road team captains with the Tennessee Trucking Foundation. I have been for two years and this is his first year and we enjoy that and that's one of the things that we do enjoy about Averett. We're afforded to do a, have a lot of opportunities doing things I wouldn't be able to do with any other trucking company. We're both on the Drivers Council, Drivers Advisory Council and have been for several years and uh, we enjoy doing that and finding out firsthand things that are going on with truckload and all before anybody else does and uh, it's a lot of fun uh, we've we've been able to take part in a lot of different things that other trucking companies just don't have that we do have here at Averett. Yeah we get to we get to be involved in the uh, Tennessee Drug Driving Championships as well as uh, top selected drivers uh, well the two of us and three to four other drivers we get to compete with other companies uh, once a year in the championships so Averett you know with Averett you don't it's not necessarily just a, a driving company a company you go drive for there's so many opportunities here to get to do more things. We're, we're truly not a number here we are a family uh, Yes. Home time is more important than, to us than anything else. Uh, we're in every weekend. The 17 years I've been here, I've only not made it home one weekend, and that's a fluke. That just doesn't happen here. It's out of 17 years, you just nobody else can say that. I usually get in Friday night, leave out Monday morning. Sometimes I get in Saturday morning. Uh, my fleet manager knows that I don't like to leave on Sundays. It's just my pet peeve, and he usually makes it happen. It's rare that I have to leave on Sunday. Uh, a lot of drivers like leaving on Sunday, start their week early. I'm just not one of them. <laughs> but uh, that's what I mean. It's, it's more than a trucking company. And it's more about money. I mean, more about living than money. It's, it's like he said earlier, we, you know, we work to live, not live to work. And uh, it's, That's right. The fleet managers or dispatchers over here, they're much more family orientated. Um, you know, if you've got things going on on the weekend or family obligations coming up, a simple message to them and they make sure that you're in plenty with plenty of time to get everything taken care of. Um, just like he said, we get ample home time here. You're not just in for a 34 and then back out on the road. Um, you have the option to do that, but Avery doesn't push it. If you if you enjoy your weekends, they'll get you in as soon as they can and get back out when you can. Um, just like he said, we usually yep. get in by Friday evening and we're back out on the road first thing Monday morning. And you know, we, we still turn incredible miles over here and uh, the pay is excellent. You know, Avery is constantly up in their pay scale and it's just an all around great company for us. Like I said, he got me over here and I plan on retiring from this company. Well, for instance, uh, my wife and I's 35th wedding anniversary was this past Monday, and I asked if I could get in early Friday just for that, and I was in Friday morning, and, you know, just no, nothing to it. You know, it's like my fleet manager says, he's a man that's just a push of a button, and that's, you know, it. we do our part while we're here, and we expect them to do theirs, and they do, and uh, can't beat it. Uh, the equipment, I'm in a 2022 Volvo, you know, I, I, they keep me in late model equipment. Um, you know, it's, it's not a problem here. Maintenance is great, you know, they keep our trucks on the road. We've got so many service centers that have shops that there's no reason for your equipment not to be tip top here. Uh, you can get anything done at any one of our service centers and all the mechanics here, they get you taken care of, get you in and out in a timely manner and you're back on the road making money. And as far as uh, truck stops, we rarely have staying truck stops. We have so many service centers or drop yards. We've got more than any other company. I'll put money on that. 
and uh, that means a lot, especially now with the truck stops filling up. If you're not shut down by three or four in the afternoon, you're not going to get a spot. Whereas now I can run as late as I want to, and I know somewhere in my route there's going to be an Averett yard or a service center. And our service centers come fully equipped with showers, Wi-Fi, uh, big screen TVs, big leather recliners to kick back in. So you're not limited to just getting a shower and going back to your truck. You can hang out in our driver lounges. And microwaves, vending machines, ice machines, just yeah. anything you, you All would All the need. commodities. Yeah. <laughs> to keep but, us comfortable while we're out here on the road. Yeah. For more information about Averett, go to AverettCareers.com. We look forward to seeing you here on the road with us.